We know many teachers work long days and spend their nights and weekends creating curriculum to inspire and challenge students. That is certainly a fitting description of Mr. Sam Neeson at Minnetonka High School. Surprise, Mr. Neeson. I'm with WCCO TV, and I am here to tell you that you are an excellent educator. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Neeson has only been teaching a few, few years, but a colleague tells us he's one of the most gifted teachers in the school. The way he connects with kids so they know that he cares about them is what makes Mr. Neeson an excellent educator. If the saying goes, education is not filling a bucket, but lighting a fire, Sam Neeson is creating a lot of sparks at Minnetonka High School. You know, history and geography is awesome because we get to think about the world. It's not just something on a test or a fact, it's thinking. How do you analyze? How do you remember? What do you think about? Mm -hmm. And I love that. His class is fun. He plays music and hands out candy to keep students engaged. We have a fun time. I'm really glad to get to work with these kids. Working with kids doesn't end once the bell rings. Mr. Neeson created Vinyl Club, where students come together, share music, and make new friends. We listen to vinyl records that the kids bring in and listen, eat candy and listen to music. and. It's just kind of a nice place for people to get together and spend time together in kind of a low stakes environment. While he may have created Vinyl Club, a group of students sought him out to advise another called Difference for Women. They want to try to further empower women throughout the globe and raising money and education and solidarity. And uh, the students really do a great job with that. I'm more just the advisor. His students look up to him and he's proud to be a role model in and outside of class. Just being a voice and being open and having an open mind and understanding that we're all in this together and that we can work together and understanding differences. Now, Mr. Neeson is from Maple Grove, go Crimson, and went to the U of M, go Gophers. Well, this is how he got picked. <laughs> yeah, it it's helps. It's if you have the same <laughs> history as Kim, you're in. It caught my eye, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Both of his parents were teachers growing up, so he says that he understood uh, at a very young age that work as a teacher does not end with a school day. And I just wanted to share something from the nomination letter. Uh, the nominator wrote that he is the kind of person we want to see go into education and stay in education. And I think that that's so cool. You know, when you recognize that teacher, that you're lucky to have that teacher in your school, um, it's really cool. And he deserves all the recognition that he gets. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I love that it's a second generation, too, that yeah, the parents. Yeah. And... Stays in the family. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. All right. So if you have an uh, excellent educator in your life, maybe they went to Maple Grove, maybe they went to the U of M, maybe they didn't. <laughs> we'll read all the letters. Just send us your nomination on our Facebook page or email it to morning at WCCO.com.